Hey everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to place an image in text with Photoshop. This is a follow-up to an earlier video where I showed you how to place an image into a single word or a single type layer. Well, this time, we'll take things further and learn how to place an image into multiple type layers at once. We'll look at the problem we run into when trying to place an image in more than one type layer, and we'll learn the easy solution. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but any any recent version will work. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is open the image we want to place inside our text. I'll use this underwater image that I downloaded from Adobe Stock. If we look in the Layers panel, we see that I've already added some text. There's three words, and each word is on a separate type layer. I'll turn the type layers on by clicking their visibility icons. And now we see the words under the C in front of the image. You'll want to use black as your type color for now. Well, let's add a background color for the effect. We'll use a solid color fill layer, which will make it easy to change the color later if we need to. In the Layers panel, click on the Background layer to select it. Then click on the New Fill or Adjustment layer icon and choose Solid Color. In the Color Picker, choose White and then click OK. Our text now appears in front of a white background. And if we look in the Layers panel, we see the new Solid Color Fill layer between the background layer and the type layers. Next, we need to make a copy of our image and move it above the text. Click on the background layer and drag it down onto the new layer icon. Photoshop makes a copy of the layer and places it above the original. Click on the background copy layer and drag it above the type layers. When a highlight bar appears at the top, release your mouse button to drop the layer into place. So far, so good. But here's where we run into a problem. We have one image that we need to place inside not just one, but in this case, three separate type layers. If we were placing the image into a single type layer, then all we would need to do is create a clipping mask. But watch what happens when I create one. With the background copy layer selected, I'll click on the menu icon in the upper right of the layers panel, and I'll choose Create Clipping Mask. And here's the problem. Photoshop places the image into the text, but only into the word at the top. The other two words below it are unaffected. And if we look in the layers panel, we see why. Notice the small arrow to the left of the background copy layer's preview thumbnail, pointing down at the type layer below it, the layer that holds the word under. And this is how Photoshop lets us know that the background copy layer is clipped to the type layer. But it's clipped only to that one type layer directly below it, not to all three. We need a way to clip the image to all three type layers at once. Since that didn't work, I'll undo the clipping mask by clicking the Layers Panel menu icon and choosing Release Clipping Mask. And now we're back to seeing just the image. So how do we place the image into all three type layers? Well, the solution is to first place the type layers into a layer group. And that way, we can clip the image not to a single type layer, but to the entire group at once. Click on the type layer at the top to select it. Then to select the other type layers as well, press and hold your Shift key and click on the bottom type layer. With all of your type layers selected, click on the menu icon and choose New Group from Layers. Name the group Text and then click OK. A new layer group named Text appears below the background copy layer. And if we click on the arrow to the left of the folder icon, we can twirl the group open and see the type layers inside it. To clip the image to the layer group, select the background copy layer, then click the menu icon and choose Create Clipping Mask. And this time, because we've clipped the image to the layer group itself, the image appears in all three words. And in the Layers panel, we see the clipping mask arrow on the background copy layer pointing down at the layer group below it. And that's how to place an image in multiple type layers at once. So now that we've created the basic effect, let's look at a few ways to customize it. One thing we can do is add a drop shadow to the text. And since we'll want the shadow to affect all of our type layers at once, we'll add it to the layer group itself. Click on the layer group to select it. Then click on the Layer Styles icon or the Effects icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Choose Drop Shadow from the list. 
This opens the Layer Style dialog box set to the Drop Shadow options. You'll want to adjust the angle, distance, and size, as well as the opacity of the shadow, to suit your image. Angle sets the direction of the light source. I'll set mine to 75 degrees. Distance controls how far the shadow will extend outward from the letters. I'll set it to 30 pixels. And size will add feathering to the shadow edges. I'll again set mine to 30 pixels. Use the opacity value at the top to adjust the brightness or intensity of the shadow. I'll set it to 40%. Click OK when you're done to close the dialog box. And because we've added it to the layer group itself, all three layers within the group have the drop shadow applied. Another thing we can do is change the background color. Double click on the color swatch for the solid color fill layer. Then choose a new color from the color picker. I'll choose black, and Photoshop shows us a live preview of what the new color looks like. We can also choose a color directly from the image. Move your mouse cursor over the image, and you'll see the cursor change into an eyedropper. Click on a color you want to use. I'll choose a dark blue by clicking on the diver's mask. Again, we see a preview of the new color. I'll choose a much darker shade of that blue color and then I'll click OK to close the color picker. Finally, one more way we can customize the effect is by adding some transparency to the background color so that some of the original image shows through. We can do that just by lowering the opacity of the solid color fill layer. Make sure the fill layer is selected. You'll find the opacity option in the upper right of the layers panel. The more we lower the opacity from its default value of 100%, the more the image will show through the background color. I'll lower mine to 85%. And there we have it. That's how to place an image not just into text, but into multiple type layers at once in Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking it, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. Visit our website, photoshopessentials.com, for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from photoshopessentials.com.